If you do a lot of work with titles within Premiere Pro, I have some great news for you. They're adding spell check along with some other cool features. I'm gonna dive into all of it in this video. As of this recording, I'm using Premiere Pro Beta to showcase this feature. If you're watching this in the future, it may already be in the full version of Premiere. If you're new to creating titles in Premiere Pro, they make it super easy. Just go to the type tool on your toolbar and you can click and drag on the program monitor or you could just click anywhere on the program monitor and start typing your title. That creates a title clip down here on the track. And if you want to format or edit the appearance of that title, you wanna check out the Essential Graphics window by going to Window, Essential Graphics. In the Essential Graphics panel, hit the Edit tab. And then if you click on the specific title right here, you can align and transform, change the font. I like to add a background and you can even curve the background as well. All of these parameters have been a part of Premiere Pro for a little bit now, but what we wanna do is check out the new interface inside the text panel. If you want access to the text panel quickly, they've added this little button down here where it says show in text panel, so I could click that. Or you could go up to window, text, there's a captions menu right here, which side note, if you haven't used the whole transcribing feature in Premiere Pro, it's a game changer. I highly recommend checking it out. Next to captions, we now get an option for graphics. Let me break down what you see here. This first column shows you what track the title is on. The second column tells you exactly what time code the title comes in and out. The third column gives you a thumbnail preview and the fourth column is the actual text within your title. One big thing to point out, if you haven't noticed already, I misspelled the word typing and put an E in there and that has a red underline and that's the main feature in this update, spell check. Over here on the top right of the window, we get three dots. If I click that, we get disable auto scrolling, check spelling, and spell check settings. Right here, I have a blue check mark by check spelling. If I undo this, notice how it goes away. If I bring it back, it will do a quick spell check. And you can see all of the different misspellings that I have here. Now, most of these are brand names, but now I can see at a glance that the word typing is misspelled. Normally, you could just double click in here and change the word typing, but what's really neat and what they've done is you can just right click without even having to click into the title itself and it will give you some options. So right here, I just have the word typing. If I were to go down here to say something like Dincom Systems Action Prod Pro, this is how the company actually spells this name. But if I were to right click, it'll give me Dinky. For a livid, there's a couple different options, but I want to keep this option right here so I could just learn this and it will add it to the dictionary. One other cool feature that I wanna point out is up here in the search. So let me click this and let's say I wanted to search for the word Sony. I have a lot of Sony products and that word is in here a bunch of times. Now you can click through the different iterations of when Sony was in here or for some odd reason, let's say for instance, I wanted to put the word Canon instead of Sony for all of these different spots and I could hit replace on just the specific titles or I could go to replace all and replace them all at the same time. Now, <laughs> if I go to all these different shots, it says Canon A7S III, that even sounds weird. What I would wanna do is actually go back and change all of those from Canon back to Sony and hit replace all. Another parameter underneath this menu is the spell check settings. Here you could change the language as well as you could enter words into the dictionary for Premiere to learn or forget. And one last button I wanna show you is right here, the filter tracks. If I click that, you could filter this by just titles on a specific track. So if I were to hit V5, the only one on that track right now is this title right here. It's the Sony a7S III. If I switch this over to V3, I get all of these different tracks, so on and so forth. In my opinion, I think this is a really cool and efficient update to Premiere Pro that will really help save time when it comes to creating titles. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. Until next time, my name's Javier Mercedes, and I hope you're out there living a life of abundance. Bye.